This tutorial will introduce you to finding information about physical and chemical properties. A physical property is an aspect of matter that can be observed or measured without changing it. Examples of physical properties include color, molecular weight, melting point, boiling point, and density. A chemical property may only be observed by changing the chemical identity of a substance. This property measures the potential for undergoing a chemical change. Examples of chemical properties include reactivity, flammability, and oxidation states. There are many sources of information about physical and chemical properties. This tutorial will introduce you to a couple of reliable ones that you can use to complete your lab assignments for this class. The library guide for this class provides links to three sources of information about physical and chemical properties. The first one we will look at is the Web Elements Periodic Table. Web Elements is run by an individual chemist in England. In order to keep the site up and running, he does sell advertising. Even so, the information he presents is reliable and he updates the site when necessary. The table is interactive. To find more information about an element, just click on it. This, in this example, we will learn more about the element cadmium. The page for each element contains everything from physical properties to the history of the element. Basic physical properties are presented. On the right side of the page, links will take you to chemical properties, for example, compounds. On this page, you can see the different types of compounds that contain cadmium. For example, oxides of cadmium include cadmium oxide and cadmium peroxide. There is a lot of information presented in Web Elements, and it is worth your while to explore the periodic table. The next chemical information source that we will explore is the CRC Handbook of Chemistry and Physics. The CRC Handbook is a venerable chemical information source. It has been around for nearly 100 years and is still an excellent reference source. Any time that the library asks you to log into a resource, you should log in with your web ID. So here is the CRC Handbook of Chemistry and Physics. There are a number of ways to find information within the handbook. On the left side are links to different types of information where you can browse. You can do a simple search for information using the search box at upper right. In this example, we are trying to find the solubility of an organic molecule called capsaicin. Capsaicin is an ingredient in pepper spray and is what makes chili peppers hot. The search results return links to chapters or tables within the handbook. In this result, we have two sources of information. One is a static PDF document. The other is an interactive table. First, we'll take a look at the PDF document. The PDF is a chapter from the handbook. It is very important to become familiar with the terminology and abbreviations used in the handbook. For example, we can see that the letter S stands for soluble and VS stands for very soluble. As we scroll down, we can see that the results are given in a very large table. Each row of the table gives information about one chemical. The heading at the top of the table explains what is in each column. Note that the last col column is solubility. To find the information about capsaicin, you can either scroll down through all of the pages or use the search function on your computer to find your term. In the last column of the row for capsaicin, we can see the cryptic notes on solubility. By consulting the list of abbreviations at the top of the chapter, we can read 
that capsaicin is insoluble in water, very soluble in ethanol, and soluble in ether, benzene, petroleum ether, and slightly soluble in concentrated hydrochloric acid. If you ate a really hot chili pepper, which of those solvents would you use to get the capsaicin out of your mouth? Back at our search results page, we can see the same information in the interactive table. Here, you see the same information about solubility and other physical properties of capsaicin. The CRC handbook also has an advanced search feature that lets you search for chemicals based on information about their physical properties. This is helpful in identifying unknowns when all you have is some physical or chemical information. Click on the link at the upper right of the page. To search for a chemical based on a property, fill in at least one piece of information. For example, we can search for a chemical based on its molecular weight. In this case, we're looking for a molecular weight of 305.412. Click Search, and again, the results are given both as a PDF document as an interactive table. And there is our capsaicin. Our final source for chemical information is the ChemID database. Search the database by name or by CAS registry number. Click on Full Record and scroll down the page to see the information that you're needing. For example, at the bottom of the page are physical properties. At the top of the page is the molecular formula, the molecular weight, a structure, and links to many other sources of information. It would be worth your while to explore the ChemID database. Thank you for watching this tutorial.